Hey Mars, you're looking a little red these days. Ever thought about sprucing up your atmosphere and making it more habitable? Well, Earth, I've been considering it, but I'm not sure where to start. Any ideas? Oh, I've got a few. How about we gather up all the air fresheners from the whole solar system and send them your way? We'll have Mars smelling like a rose garden in no time. Wait, wait, hold on. I've got a better idea. We'll have a planet-wide makeover party. We'll bring in some stylish decorators and transform Mars into the trendiest planet in the galaxy. And while we're at it, why not throw in some disco balls and a dance floor? Mars can have its own interplanetary party scene. I have a suggestion too. We'll plant millions of trees on Mars and create an interstellar forest. It'll be the perfect place for alien wildlife to frolic and play. Don't forget the water. Mars needs some serious hydration. We'll send over a convoy of water tankers and turn those dusty red landscapes into shimmering blue oceans. Hold on, guys. We need to think practically here. Why don't we just bring over a massive air conditioning system? We can cool down the planet and make it more comfortable for everyone. You know what we really need? Martian amusement parks! Roller coasters, Ferris wheels, and bumper cars! Let's make Mars the ultimate destination for space tourism! Ahum, excuse me, but I still consider myself a planet. Can I join in on the fun? Of, of course, course Pluto. Pluto! The, the more, the merrier. the merrier! All right, Mars, you've got quite the to-do list now. Air fresheners, makeovers, parties, forests, water, air conditioning, amusement parks. Anything else we can help you with? Well, if you can also find a way to bring me some good humor, that would be out of this world. Consider it done! We'll make sure Mars becomes the happiest, coolest, and most enjoyable planet in the entire solar system. Thanks, guys! You're the best planetary pals a red planet could ask for. Let's get to work and make Mars the envy of the galaxy. <laughs> hey, guys, have you seen the moons of Saturn lately? The moons of Saturn? You mean those tiny specks of light in the sky? Yeah, they're not exactly the most exciting things to look at. Hey, speak for yourself. I think they're fascinating. I have to agree with Earth on this one. The moons of Saturn are pretty cool. Definitely. Did you know that Saturn has over 80 moons? That's right. And each one is unique in its own way. What makes them so special? Yeah, I mean, other planets have moons too. Well, the moons of Saturn are interesting because of their diversity. There's Titan, the only moon in our solar system with a substantial atmosphere. And then there's Enceladus, which has geysers spewing water into space. And don't forget about Mimas, with its huge impact crater that makes it look like the Death Star. Or Iapetus, which has a distinctive two-tone color and Hyperion, which looks like a giant sponge. Each of Saturn's moons has its own story to tell, and they're all worth exploring. That's right. And who knows what other surprises we might find as we continue to study them. Maybe we should send a mission to Saturn's moons to learn more about them. Yes, that would be a great idea. And so, the planets and sun marveled at the moons of Saturn and all their unique characteristics. Even though they may appear as tiny specks of light in the sky, each moon has its own story to tell, making them all fascinating in their own way. Whether or not a mission is sent to explore Saturn's moons, the planets knew that there was still much to learn about these mysterious and intriguing satellites. <laughs> hey, everyone! Gather round! I've got some news that's got my tectonic plate shaking. The USA is going through an economic crisis. Oh my rings, really? What's going on down there? Are they running out of dollars? Well, it's not that extreme, but they are facing some challenges. 
there's been a bit of a recession, and the stock market has been roller coastering like crazy. Recession, huh? Maybe they should try investing in space travel. I hear it's the next big thing. They could be the pioneers of Martian real estate. Hold your solar flares, Mars. Let's not distract them with interplanetary adventures. They need to focus on fixing their own economy first. Sun's right. But you know, I can't help but wonder if they've considered selling off naming rights to their cities. New York sponsored by Big Burger, anyone? Ha ha. I can see it now. Welcome to McDonaldsville, the city that never sleeps. It would be an out-of-this-world marketing opportunity. And instead of Wall Street, they could have Elon Musk's Martian market. I bet it would boost their economy in no time. Well, while they brainstorm ideas, maybe they should consider tapping into their renewable energy potential. Solar power could be a bright solution. Absolutely, son. They've got the resources, they just need to harness them wisely. Plus, it would give you a run for your money, Sun Solar Showdown. Earth, you always find a way to brighten our conversations. But seriously, the USA has a history of bouncing back. I'm sure they'll figure it out. You're right, Saturn. They've got resilience and innovation on their side. They'll weather this storm and come out stronger, just like they always do. Let's send them some positive Martian vibes too. We're all in this cosmic economy together. <laughs> hey, fellow planets, how's everyone doing today? Oh, you know, just orbiting along. So, Earth, what's the latest gossip from the land of presidents? How's Biden handling things? Well, Biden's been busy making moves. He's been focusing on infrastructure and tackling climate change. It's like he's trying to build the ultimate Earth 2.0 expansion pack. Ah, uh, I can picture it now. Biden with a hard hat, laying bricks on the White House lawn. He's really taking building back better seriously. Speaking of building, what about Trump? Is he still building towers and tweeting up a storm? Oh, you bet. Trump is still making waves. He's like a solar flare of attention, always grabbing headlines with his rants and rallies. It's like he's trying to make the universe great again. I have a feeling he's going to try to start a Trump Tower, Mars edition, project soon. Can you imagine that? Red skyscrapers as far as the eye can see. Haha, <laughs> let's hope he doesn't take his real estate empire beyond our atmosphere. We don't need interplanetary property disputes. Well, at least the United States keeps things interesting. Politics down there always feels like a cosmic circus. You said it, Jupiter. It's like a never-ending reality TV show. Keeping up with the presidents, coming soon to a galaxy near you. Ah, the drama and comedy of politics. Remember, Earth, we're always watching from afar. Just don't let it get too out of orbit. Thanks for the reminder, son. We'll try to keep our politicians in check. After all, it's our collective responsibility to keep the universe entertained. Absolutely. And hey, if things get too chaotic, I've got plenty of room for an earthly escape on my dusty red surface. Vacation destination, anyone? Count me in. A little break from political antics sounds like a cosmic dream. Let's plan a getaway. Sounds like a plan, fellow planets. We'll take a break from politics, bask in the sun's warmth, and enjoy the wonders of our universe. Remember, laughter is the best anti-gravity device. And so, the planets shared a light-hearted moment, reminding us that humor can bridge the gaps between worlds and bring joy to the cosmos. Hey, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune! Gather around! I have an interesting topic for us to discuss today. Oh, what's it about sun? Well, I was thinking about black holes and how lucky we are that they don't exist in our solar system. Lucky? Why do you say that, sun? Imagine if we had black holes hanging around here. They'd be gobbling up everything in sight. Our peaceful existence would be turned upside down. That's true. 
Black holes are like the ultimate vacuum cleaners of the universe. They just suck in everything, including light. I can already picture myself being pulled into a black hole. It's not a pretty sight. Yeah, and think about all the lovely satellite systems we have floating around. They'd be gone in a blink. Well, I guess it's a good thing we have you, son. You keep everything in order, holding us all in your gravitational embrace. Ah, thanks, Jupiter! But let's not forget that I'm not completely innocent. I do have some solar flares and occasional tantrums. But at least I'm not a black hole, right? True, true. We'll take the occasional solar flare over being swallowed by a black hole any day. Plus, black holes mess with the whole concept of time. Time travel would be a chaotic mess. Can you imagine tourists accidentally stumbling upon a black hole and being thrown into a time loop? They'd never make it back for their return flights. And let's not even get started on the confusion it would cause with our astrological signs. The zodiac would be a disaster. Ah, uh, you're right, Jupiter. We have people arguing about being born under the sign of the black hole instead of their usual constellations. Well, it's safe to say that we're all glad black holes are nowhere to be found in our solar system. We'll stick to our peaceful planetary orbits. Absolutely. Let's appreciate our unique quirks and differences without adding the chaotic presence of black holes into the mix. Agreed! Cheers to a black hole-free solar system and our fantastic cosmic family! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>